Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another Top 10 Tweaks video. This is actually kind of a response video to the previous Top 10 video that I did. If you guys want to see that video before watching this one, I'd recommend it. The video link is in the description. But anyways, we're going to be taking a look at 10 more really cool tweaks from Cydia. Now the tweaks that are featured within this video, some of them you may need to add a source within Cydia to be able to get. I will leave all of the tweak information and source information down in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. Uh, these are not ranked from best to worst or anything like that. They're just completely random and they're just 10 really cool tweaks that I think you guys would like. But anyways, like I said, this is again in response to my previous video. So I will be covering tweaks that I've gotten a lot of questions about and I'll be covering it in this video. So coming in at number 10 is called Folder Enhancer and it's for iOS 8 slash uh, 7. So um, a lot of people ask me how did I get my folders the way I did in the previous video. So if we go ahead and open up my folder, as you guys can see, it's basically like another springboard page, which I really like. There's no annoying blurry background. It basically is just a springboard page. Um, and that's thanks to the tweak folder enhancer. Now, uh, this tweak has a lot of options that allows you to configure your folders exactly the way you want. You can change the grid layout. As you guys can see, mine's pretty much just like a normal springboard. Uh, you can have it so that you can have nested folders where you put folders within folders. And it's just a really good all around tweak. Again, it's called Folder Enhancer. Coming in at number nine is called Cylinder. Now, in specific, a lot of people wanted to know how I got this animation or what configuration that I use for the animation. But basically what Cylinder is, is animated page scrolling effects, as you guys can see as I change my uh, springboard pages, I have that really cool kind of stay put, fade, and spin effect all in one. And that's the thing I really like about Cylinder. It is a free tweak. Um, but we can go into the settings here and I'll show you guys my exact setup for Cylinder because I had a lot of people asking me on how I did that. So if we go into Cylinder here within settings, you have your effects section, which are all the different animations you can choose from. And here is the configuration I have. I have a uh, page fade well let's see let's start with number one so the number one uh, animation I'm using is stay put and then I have number two is page fade and then number three is spin so that's the exact configuration I used to get this really cool kind of spin effect for these round icons uh, if you guys are curious about this theme I did cover it in the previous top 10 tweaks video so be sure to check that out if you guys want to know what theme this is again the video link is in the description and again this tweak is called cylinder Coming in at number eight is Flurry. Now what Flurry allows you to do is to change the blur values system wide on your device. So as you guys can see when I open up Control Center, the blur effect of uh, Control Center is a little bit different than stock. If we go ahead and open up uh, Notification Center, as you guys can see the blur effect is even different here. Just kind of has an overall different look to it. Uh, as well as like the keyboard itself, you can even change the blur values on that. And again, this tweak is called Flurry, and I will go into settings here real quick to show you uh, the settings that I'm using for Flurry. It's a bit tedious, and it took me a while to actually get it set up the way I wanted. So let's go into options here. So Control Center, here are the values in which I'm using uh, for Control Center. You guys can go ahead and pause this and. Uh, uh, mimic my style basically if you want here is notification center here are the values that I'm using for that and then let's see here we have the uh, call UI actually I have not adjusted that but we do have the dark keyboard values right here as you guys can see if you guys want to pause this and like I said mimic my uh, exact setup so and then here's the light keyboard and that's all I have uh, uh, adjusted within flurry uh, again, it's called Flurry, and it allows you to change all of the bl blur values system-wide on your device. Coming in at number 7 is a very simple tweak, but I absolutely love it. So if we go ahead and hold the power button on our device, which usually brings up the slide to power off, as you can see, you do have some different options here, and I really like this tweak because it's just put together just the way Apple would do it, and it just looks nice, and it's very functional. So instead of having just slide to power off, as you guys can see, you have slide to reboot, and also slide to respring. So I use this slide to respring all the time for when I'm adjusting tweaks on my device. Uh, and it's just a very, very nice tweak. Again, this is called power tap. 
Coming in at number six is Smooth Cursor. So again, with the last video that I created for you guys here, we still have the note in which I made from that video. A lot of you were wondering, how is my cursor so smooth? Well, that's due to the Tweak Smooth Cursor. You just install it and it works. So as I type here, as you guys can see, uh, the cursor has a much more smooth looking effect than normal and it's uh, really kind of subtle but it's really nice looking and as we use swipe selection here as you guys can see it, it even uh, looks nice with the tweak swipe selection I just really like it very simple tweak you install it and it works again this is called smooth cursor coming in at number five is another very very simple tweak but it's really nice and uh, I use it all the time and I don't think I could live on my device without it it's called status HUD 2 so one of the most annoying things on iOS 8 is the volume HUD popping up in the middle of your screen uh, if you're doing any kind of like uh, gaming like in a game it'll cover the screen if you're watching a movie it'll cover the screen it just gets in your way well status HUD 2 basically puts that volume indicator up into the status bar out of your way and again it's just a really simple but very very convenient nice looking tweak again this is called a status HUD 2 coming in at number four is another tweak a lot of people have been asking me about and that is how do I get this little indicator on my screen for doing these tutorials the little kind of fingerprint like basically it's showing where my finger is swiping or touching on my screen uh, a nice tweak for doing the things I do like tutorials and whatnot if you guys want to do you know do your own tutorials uh, you know via screen capture like how I make my videos uh, this is a great tweak to use it's called touch pose plus now there is a couple of settings here if we go into settings here into our tweaks and we go to touch pose as you guys can see you have the on off uh, toggle there you can actually change the pose type uh, you have a default circle and then you just have a custom image which you can use any custom image you want um, basically you have to import it I believe through like iFile or something like that you have your pose settings you can change the size of it you can change the color I'm not gonna adjust that because I have it set up just the way I like uh, you can also have it display on keyboard and you can disable it within certain certain applications on your device but that's how I get this little indicator on my screen is thanks to touch pose plus coming in at number three is app color close this is another really cool tweak very simple you install it and it's there so as you guys can see as I basically put all my icons into wiggle mode to either delete them or move them uh, I get the little close box on them or delete box and they're all color matched to the application and that's due to the tweak app color close a very subtle tweak um, you know there's not really much to configure with it you just install it and it basically gives your close boxes a nice kind of colorized look to all of the applications a very simple tweak but very nice looking again it's called app color close coming in at number two is called blurry badges so this goes right along with the last tweak with colorizing uh, your device or your uh, notifications basically just making the colors of your device look better basically so if you guys notice the badge on my uh, mailbox app down here at the bottom um, the badge for it for the five unread emails that I have the badge itself is colorized to match the app icon uh, a very nice look I really like this tweak if we go ahead and swipe over here here's some more badges on some apps that I have uh, we have game center and then iOS 8 wallpapers but since there's so many colors within these uh, these icons it kind of turns into a gray color just because it's combining all of the colors in the app icon to make the color of the badge so it looks a little funky uh, we also do have a badge down here on this folder which is for crash reporter which I use all the time for all the damn tweaks that cause me problems to figure out what to fix and what not to uh, but as you can see that is color matched as well so from the folder it kind of colorizes it to whatever's in the folder but if we go into the folder as you can see that it's colorized to the actual app icon as well very simple tweak very nice looking makes your device look a lot more clean and colorized again that is called blurry badges and coming in at number one is a very very convenient tweak and it's really nice it's called if found two and uh, this is the beta version um, just because the beta version is free there is a paid version but if we go to our lock screen here as you guys can see in the lower right hand corner is is a little button it says if found now you can posi uh, position this button uh, fully custom to wherever you want it to be on your lock screen let's go ahead and bring that back up uh, and basically if you click on this little if found button it'll come up with your information now obviously I'm not gonna put my actual address and everything 
on video here because I don't need you guys figuring out exactly where I live but you guys get the core concept here uh, you can basically set up so that it says you know uh, this iPhone belongs to please return to address city blah 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 you can even put a custom message in there saying that you will give a reward if if this if your phone is returned to you and all that so this is just a great tweak if you actually lose your device it'll probably greatly increase the chances of getting your device back but I just thought it'd be a really cool tweak to have on this list again this is called if found to beta so that's gonna be all the tweaks I got for you guys in this video 10 more really convenient tweaks. I hope you guys enjoyed this lineup. Again, like I said, if there's other things you see on my device that you're curious about, I probably covered them in the previous top 10 tweaks video. The video link is in the description. Also, like I said, all of the tweak information is down in the description along with sources that you might need to add uh, to get some of the tweaks. And uh, that's me pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys want to get uh, paid applications for free, check out the link down in the descri uh, description. It's an awesome service, and I would highly recommend you guys to try it out. It's 100% legal, and it's just uh, a great way of getting paid applications for free, like I said. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more top tweak videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.